high above Wales' stunning Dee Valley, stand the gaunt remains of a medieval fortress. It is called Castel Dinas Bran, and some believe it is named after Bran the Blessed. Others say that this is the mystical Corbenic Castle, where the legends say the Grail was found. The name Corbenic may come from the French word Corbeau, which means crow. In Welsh, the name Bran means crow or raven. In the legends of King Arthur, separating fact from fiction is often impossible. But even straight-talking archaeologists admit that these stories contain grains of truth. I'm a skeptical archaeologist who is wanting evidence before I am convinced of anything. Um, but for other people, the evidence is the story. And most stories, most legends, do have a foundation of truth. Somewhere in there, there is a reality, a truth. These ruins date from the 13th century, hundreds of years after Arthur's supposed reign. It's possible that older structures lie buried underground, but local authorities have forbidden any excavations. Archaeologist Fiona Gale and her team must find another way to discover what, if anything, lies hidden beneath Castel Dinas Bran. And technology may have the answer. Sophisticated geophysics equipment has revolutionized archaeology. This amazing technology can reveal what is below the ground without digging it up. We undertook two main techniques here. Resistivity is where you put probes into the ground. You're measuring the dampness where you might have a ditch. You would expect that to be deeper and wetter, so it would show up in one way on the survey. A wall, hidden, would be drier, and that would show up differently. So you see patterns. The other form is magnetometry. You're carrying the machine over the ground, and it's reading the magnetic nature of the ground. And again, you get a pattern. Fiona had hoped that the survey would reveal signs of an Arthurian-era castle, but the results are inconclusive. Seeing these ruins, what are they telling us? What are they hiding from us? What stories could they tell us? Yeah, very much holding on to its secrets. They're here under the ground somewhere. It seems that Castel Dinas Bran will keep its secrets for many more years.